Hey fam, how is everyone doing today? So thank you for joining me in my favorite place in the house, the kitchen, my favorite space. Anyway, you guys, um, I wanted to bring you along today because we're going to be cooking um, some vegan chili or vegetarian chili. Um, I cook vegan a lot because of my vegan husband. Um, so I enjoy sharing these things. So let's start making some chili. So fam, we're gonna start with a few ingredients, real simple and easy. Um, most of this you may even have on your refrigerator already. So, celery, tricolor peppers. We have red, yellow, and orange. Next, we have those tops from the green peppers when we made stuffed green peppers. So this is green peppers that I'm gonna be using. And we have a little leftover onion in here that I kept as well. Then we have some organic uh, frozen sweet corn, yellow corn. Next we have some baby carrots that I'll probably be cutting up uh, to put in the mixture as well. Then I have some frozen black beans that I'm just going to defrost. As you guys know, um, or you probably didn't know, I make black beans for my husband all the time, fresh ones. So I just date them, put them in the freezer, and use them later. I just so next we have fresh kidney beans. Um, you guys, all I do is buy my beans dry, and then I soak them overnight, and they're ready the next morning for use. So just makes your dishes taste a lot fresher. But please, please, if it's convenient and easy, for you use canned beans and just rinse them off so that's what I always say tweak it and make it what works for you so next we have white beans right you can decide that you maybe want to use navy beans or something else so just make it what you would like it to be so also we have some fresh chopped tomatoes so I chop my tomatoes up and I use cilantro and um, maybe some garlic powder and you can season them up yourself or like I said if it's convenient for you buy the canned ones and that works as well and sometimes you guys I cheat a little bit myself I love cooking fresh but sometimes I have to cheat a little um, so you either can buy um, chili powder mix um, already in a packet or sometimes I create my own so we'll see which one I'm gonna use today I am first gonna chop up some of my veggies that I'm gonna saute um, a little bit chunkier so that it's really hearty like a stew like the chili's really hearty so that's what I'm gonna work on first and I like to saute my veggies just because it um, really brings out the flavor in your veggies and add just a little salt and pepper So you guys, we have all of our ingredients ready. So let's head back here to the stove and start cooking. So you know me, I always keep any leftovers, especially if they're gonna be um, quite a, a large amount to be used or repurposed for something else. Where I take these, my mother in love bought these for me. They're like silicone um, ice trays. I actually poured my leftover vegetable stock. Um, it was no sodium vegetable stock. And I poured that in there and then I froze it. Look, and made cubes. Then I took the cubes out once they were done and just put them in this Ziploc bag and label it um, and just use it for other recipes later. So that's what we're doing now. Well, okay fam, I decided to take a shortcut today, so I am not going to create my own um, chili mix. So we're just gonna use a good old trusty pack from the store. Now fam, if you have the chili all set like you want, this will be the time to do a little taste test for seasoning. So I'm gonna go back and add some of my favorite dried seasonings um, to it and just do a taste test and kinda um, liven it up a little. 
you guys smell it? It smells so good. Smell of vision. Can you guys smell it? I'll just wave it over here. It smells so good. I can't wait to taste some. Okay, fam. I think our chili is almost ready. Um, I actually went back, you guys, and added some crushed red pepper um, just to spice it up a little bit and kept tasting it as it was cooking down just to make sure it was seasoned very well. So, okay, you guys, we're gonna sit down and have a taste, but I am going to run grab some of my um, gluten-free crackers real quick, put on the side with this so we can taste it, okay? Hold on. You guys, as my um, nephews and my nieces say, I'm doing the most, so I love these crackers. They are actually um, rosemary and olive oil, so they are super delicious. Did you see how delicious that look? Mmm, yummy. You guys see my husband back there in the background working? Thought I'd give you guys a snippet of that. Anyway, I sat here at the counter so I could taste this with you guys. Did you turn the smell of vision up on high today? Cause you need it. it smells so good, yum. You know I have to do a little dance when I'm eating, right? Food tastes better that way. To me it does. Anyway, I have a little bite of my cracker. You guys, this chili is so like comfy feeling. I kind of want to go put on my jammies and snuggle up on the chair and I'm going to movie going and just eat this. It is so good. Great comfort food, real filling. The next time we make this, I'll be sure to make the Mexican cornbread for you guys. But anyway, thank you for sharing the kitchen with me today and coming over to cook chili. I hope you guys have a pot going soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.